Welcome everybody uh, to a new uh, video about the series of radiation protection, radiation facts, uh, radiation related um, hazards and as we have seen in the last video radiation ionizing radiation has lots of um, uh, unwanted uh, effects on the living tissues, on the human body tissues uh, and all efforts should be uh, taken to uh, protect the patient, uh, the staff and the public from the uh, unwanted uh, radiation. And this will be the topic of this uh, uh, video uh, it, we will talk about the radiation x-ray uh, protection in the dental practice. Uh, before we go on to this, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we have to know that uh, the maximum permissible dose for patients undergoing x-ray uh, examination, there is no limit. Uh, Unlike the uh, the staff, they are they should have a maximum of 20 millisieverts per year, divided off uh, over five years consecutive years. Uh, the public, uh, their maximum permissible dose is 2.6 millisievert per year, uh, or the average annual dose. Um, uh, 2.6. When it comes to a patient undergoing dental or any x-ray examination, there is no maximum permissible dose provided that the radiation hazards toward which the patient is subjected is b balances the uh, diagnostic yield. This means that we do not we don't want to ex over expose our patients unnecessarily to a radiation without a proper justification and diagnosis slash treatment. So there is no balance. The responsibility is the dentist's responsibility uh, to uh, have this uh, equilibrium. So there is no maximum permissible dose for a patient undergoing examination provided that we keep the famous uh, slogan uh, uh, is the uh, alara which is as low as reasonably reasonably here it means that a, a, a judgment should be made by the dentist do I need this examination or not and uh, once you decide that it is needed then uh, 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 you should achieve it in the least amount of exposure to the uh, patient alara Okay. When it comes to radiation protection, radiation protection actually is divided into three channels. One is toward the patient because, and this this is he is going to take the lion's share actually of the protection because he is or she is the one who is going to receive the radiation. Comes the, the staff, ourselves, and last is the public. Now, if you see that if we reduce the uh, exposure or control the amount of exposure on the patient, those two categories will subsequently be affected. They will, uh, 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 they will have less doses of exposed. On the other hand, if you unnecessarily overexpose your patient to radiation, then you will be exposed, your staff, yourself, and uh, the public as well. Okay. Let's come to the radiation protection for the patient. Uh, first and foremost, uh, for, uh, foremost is the uh, uh, the fact that uh, we the radiographs are only taken when necessary, and the radiological protection. This is called justification. So, if you feel that there is no other chance, or there is no other way of reaching to a diagnosis or a treatment. Uh, except by doing a radiograph, then uh, it, uh, do go ahead and do the radiograph, provided that you t you make it the least possible to achieve your goal. Okay, if you ca if you if you're satisfied with the periapical, which is the least in this category, don't go for uh, oral PG for OPG because you are overexposing your patient. 
Second, the number of radiographs, the frequency of radiographs being taken, and the type of radiograph is the sole responsibility of the dentist. It's, this is based on judgment and the uh, uh, coverage area. Uh, but always try to use high output DC X-ray generators always DC is the direct current uh, this it, it means I will talk about it in, in the few coming slides uh, slides but I want you to have an idea see uh, at the earlier days uh, the, uh, and now all of the uh, uh, dental x-ray machines are operated on alternating current it means that it goes from zero voltage up to uh, 220 or 110 depends where you live and then it goes back into zero this is in the positive sign then it goes in the negative sign, uh, sign from minus zero to minus tw 220 and then goes up to uh, zero again so it is alternating current if we go back to the previous videos, the X-ray generation is only done when the electrical signal is in the positive sign. That is when the electro when the ca ca electrons will move from the cathode to the anode. If the uh, current is reversed, the, the reverse cannot be happen. This means that the electrons cannot travel from the anode to the cathode. So actually, if you are using an alternating current cycle, you're getting half of the uh, 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 x-ray, like a pulse, positive, stop, negative, positive, stop, positive, stop. In the newer machines, the negative sine wave of electricity has been reversed to uh, uh, positive. So what you get is positive, 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 right? So you will always get bursting in the uh, in the positive sign. This is the first achievement that is was done. The second one is, uh, you know, we start from zero up to 220, and then we go back to zero. So we get different uh, speeds of electron, sta starting from zero to 220. In the newer machines, this uh, 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 decreasing amount of uh, 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 of electricity has been uh, uh, stabilized. So what we get is a direct uh, uh, DC uh, uh, direct current alternators. It means that it is operated by an alternating current. Okay, but it has been reversed and it has been stabilized into 220 so we get the maximum efficiency of the x-rays most of the new machines which now they are being produced are uh, the direct current gener x-ray generator so you get your op you expect that the maximum efficiency of they operate at their maximum efficiency when it comes to kilo voltage voltage don't go to um, uh, uh, x-ray machine below 60 uh, try to get either to 60 and above. If you work on 70, you will get a better image quality. Minimum milliampere should not go below 8. However, in the newer machines now, with the with the advances, uh, we you can find in the market uh, uh, X-ray machines working at 6 to 7 milliamperes. If the image is fine, okay, there should be no problem. And this the uh, the filtration should always. The, uh, 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 should not, should be at least 1.5 millimeter of aluminium. The total filtration, however, should be equal to 2.5 uh, equivalent to 2.5 milli, uh, millimeter of aluminium. 